Big concern in the West Valley where there are damaged and destroyed homes. Tonight you're getting the best live team coverage starting with Team 12's Ryan Cody. Mm -hmm. and, and Ryan, really, what an unbelievable sight out there. Unbelievable, and it's likely we won't even know the full scope of the damage until daybreak. Just take a look at this, this pile of rubble that I'm standing in front of right now. This was a home about two hours ago, and we're told by neighbors that it was gone in an instant. They felt some wind that sounded almost like a jet engine, and then the home just gone. They looked up, and they don't know where it is. At one point, the fire department here, Buckeye, uh, in Bu Buckeye Valley Fire Department telling us that they responded to a fire that was in this home. They put it out pretty quickly and they've since left the scene. But also check out the scene as we make our way across the street here. This is another house just across the street. Again, we're at 188th Avenue in Rainbow Valley. And this is a roof right here. This is pieces of the roof that have blown off another home. You can really hear the winds are still kind of whipping out here. Check out the destruction, the damage that has happened in just this block, 188th Avenue in Rainbow Valley from the wind. The neighbors telling us that it was just a sight to see. They now have a new respect for Mother Nature. And here's what we heard from one of those neighbors just a short time ago. This is, this is the biggest one we've ever seen. Yeah, it sounded like a freight train. I mean, uh, honestly, it was like so loud, and I was thinking right, the window's gonna break out. Yeah. Well, the one of the windows in that house did break out, and right here, this used to be an awning right in front of this house right here. That is now the debris that we see in front of the home. Uh, there was a trailer in the back that we're told flipped over two or three times before hitting a fence and the fence was the person where that person we just spoke to was living. Luckily, nobody in the home that had completely blown away was living there. It was set to be a retirement house, we're told, by one of the neighbors, so nobody inside and luckily nobody else has been hurt by these storms, which is remarkable when you take a look at some of the damage, guys.